Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Goslix. Today we're gonna be going over a change that honestly could be changing Brawlhalla forever. And probably for the better. I haven't tested it out yet, but I theoretically and what other people are saying, it's really good. Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to announce that I have finally launched my apparel page. Guys, check out Coslix.com. We have a lot of stuff there. Just C-O-S-O-L-I-X.com. Check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think down below. If you don't know, uh, there's recently a big content patch. It's not really big, but really big change for competitive. So in experimental, they added these new changes that are like gameplay changes, like fundamental values of the game, specifically in the dodge territory. I'm going to be going over exactly what those changes are, in my opinion, and also why this is a good or bad change theoretically what i think so far i haven't played them yet so i don't really know how they're gonna affect lance particularly but it's definitely very interesting if you do enjoy this type of content where i'm just kind of talking giving you guys my opinion and just playing some games for fun hit that like subscribe comment down below check out coslux.com just got some merch there check that out the merch is really really cool so check that out anyways let's get right into this so what they changed in experimental is the dodge cooldown and the directional gravity cancel startup thingy <laughs> thingy let me let, let, let's read this exactly and then i'll explain it so for dodge cooldown the ground dodge and air dodge now have an identical cooldown value a lot of you guys watching are probably gold players on average and have no idea what that exactly means so let me break that down in brahala there are a bunch of different types of dodges, but in particular, there's this timer that exists for spot dodges and directional air dodges. That timer tells you when you get your dodge back. The difference with experimental and uh, the actual game right now is in the actual game, you get that dodge back depending on where you are on the map. So if you're on the stage, then you get it back quicker than if you're in the air. This was probably designed to give more advantage to players who are grounded, which is definitely important. But another thing it does is it gives people the option to get out of combos easier by dodging downwards. So if you dodge, or not necessarily if you dodge downwards, but if there's a combo that catches on the ground or sends to the ground, like if I do side light there on Lance, because they touch the ground, it uses the grounded dodge cooldown if they want to dodge out of it after that. So let's say somebody doesn't have a dodge and I side light dare them. After a side light dare on Lance, because they touch the ground, they're probably going to get their dodge back. But if I do side light nair, they're probably not going to get their dodge back because they haven't touched the ground, if that kind of makes sense to you. So what this does is it makes it a bit more consistent so you know exactly when they have dodges and don't have dodges and it's consistent no matter what. Which I think is a good change, but another issue with this change is it can give a lot more potential to string heavy weapons because then they know exactly when to catch dodges or react to try and catch dodges so it, it it's definitely an advantage it makes it more consistent but consistency isn't always a good thing um i bet this change is really good i need to try it out but um it's definitely different uh another thing is they made the cooldown shorter than aerial dodges so it's longer than grounded so getting the dodge back on the ground but it's shorter than in the air. I'm gonna show you guys in the offline just exactly what that means. Another thing they did is they made, gra they made gravity cancels have less startup. So if you wanna perform a gravity cancel, you have to dodge and then it used to be you're in the main game, five frames you can input to turn it into a gravity cancel. So you dodge and then you can like gravity cancel the dodge by pressing an attack button within five frames. <laughs> that is now set to three frames. So that means that it is a lot more time specific to perform a gravity cancel and you'll get less gravity cancel miss inputs theoretically so before we play an experimental game i just want to show you guys in training really quickly that dodge cooldown thing for those who still don't understand if you guys still if you understand what i'm talking about then just skip ahead until i play experimental and i'll give you my opinion but for those who don't understand let's get into this so if i dodge on the ground you can see I get it back approximately every second and a half. Dodge, one, two, one, two, right? But if I dodge in the air, so let's say I dodge, like, let me, let me jump into the air. Okay, so I dodge and 
I'm spamming my dodge. I'm still not getting it back, but it's about three seconds later. So on the ground, dodge one, two, right? But in the air, dodge one, two, three. See what I mean? So it takes longer to get that dodge back in the air than it does on the ground. But with test features on, which I can actually just turn on here, let's see what that timer is. By the way, I might be playing poorly because uh, in my brain I'm used to that dodge timer. But um, yeah, see it's longer. So if I dodge, one, two, three, and then just about before. So you don't get it back for a while. I'm like used to dodging so much. Dodging is a lot more punishable I'd say now so that's interesting so if I like were to dash dodge and then I like try and jump dodge okay so I can now by don't my dodge back don't my dodge back and then I have it back so it's just a little bit more consistent Online. let's see if that's a good change or not let's play an experimental game I'm gonna play random okay if you guys are expecting this change to be put into Brawlhalla anytime soon I would say hold your horses Brawlhalla it takes like a month to three months who even knows to finish a patch so i don't think this is going to be in the game for winter champs and i don't know if they would implement this midway through a season but if it has a lot of positive feedback which it does right now who knows oh this really will affect my gameplay it makes it harder to win neutral for me because see how i just dodged now i didn't have a dodge so i just dodged i don't have a dodge and now he like knows that i don't have a dodge so then he knows that so it like gives you, okay, so he doesn't have a dodge. But yeah, see, he doesn't have a dodge. Now he has it, and now I know he doesn't. Like it's just understanding if he has it or not. It's a lot more consistent to like realize if you should go in or if you shouldn't go in. I think it's a good change, but I I'm going to have to like... Yeah, I could dodge that. It definitely makes more string-heavy weapons better, for sure. Okay, my controls are still broken. I blame Sal. If I press my taunt button twice, it's, like, broken. That meant to be a Sarah. I'm bad. See, I don't have my dodge. This doesn't affect chase dodges, by the way. Chase dodges is its own thing. Okay, he disconnected. I'm just going to disconnect because it doesn't make sense for me to 1v1 a bot. Play another game. Oh, I got Scarlet. Cool. Play some Lance. See how it gets affected. It would take me a lot of time and effort to really get used to this uh, system. I'm not going to be practicing this system until it actually gets implemented or until Brawlhalla announces it's going to be implemented. It doesn't really make sense for me to practice something that isn't in the game before an esports season. But this will be a huge balance change. Like, if this gets added to Brawlhalla... By the way, guys, I made a video that Brawlhalla needs to change or whatever. I don't know if you guys have seen, but I've made videos on, like, that, like, topic. And this is that exact change I was looking for. Like, this is... It's solving an issue in Brawlhalla with its dodge consistency. It's, it's I don't know, it's, it's a really big change. It's like, doesn't seem like it is, but it, it really is. And it will really change balance, which I think is really good. I, I think spicing things up before an esports year is important. I don't think this will be in time for Winter Champs, in my opinion, but... Yeah, he like doesn't have a dodge. Okay, but he had it there. Okay. Like he's not really wasting a dodge. I wasted the dodge there. I'm gonna have to like think about how I aggress people a lot more. Not think about it, but when I do like a, a dash jump dodge and I touch the ground, I'm not on that ground to dodge cooldown. So it's a bit more risky for sure. And I use dodges like horizontal in my gameplay a lot, so I'm gonna have to... I don't know. Like see that to like reposition. I use it a lot. Same with that dodge right there. He dodged up. It's really interesting. It's going to affect a lot of people's movement. So, I don't know. We'll see. I dodge a lot in my gameplay, so it, it could affect me negatively. But only time will tell how it gets implemented and whatnot. But it's like when I dodge like that, I'm in disadvantage state. I can all obviously break habits, but 
I'm gonna have. We'll, we'll see how it affects my gameplay. Also, people are gonna be like less likely to dodge out of stuff because it's just more easy to tell. Like I was able to sideline Sarah because he dodged. Okay, is he gonna dodge? No dodge. What was he doing? Weirdo. Okay, let's play one more. Isaiah time. I think Cannon will, will get a buff from this. Any string heavy, hard hitting. Like Lance is string heavy and hard hitting. I wouldn't say Lance is string heavy, actually. It really depends with Lance because it's so horizontal. But one side like Derek gets more fixed, it'll be better. Yeah, it's just. I don't know. This is just a really big change. It's hard to tell exactly how it's going to. I think it's a good change. But I, I think it will need a couple months. If they implement this before Spring Champs, I think we're fine. But if if this doesn't get implemented before... um, If this doesn't get... Sorry, <laughs> I was going for a zero to that. If this doesn't get implemented before the mid-season, it shouldn't be implemented. At least this year. And then I would just do it immediately in the off-season next year. But it depends. I hope they implement it soon, but I uh, just make sure it's before the mid-season, whatever that is. There's no dodge. No. no dodge. Still don't have a dodge. See, so just have to. Now he doesn't have a dodge. Okay, now he has his dodge back. No dodge. That it's definitely like good players will really look out for it. And that, the fact that it could be more consistent. No dodge. Oh, I drop. Mm, that would have been kind of sick. Okay, that killed. Oh, he's still got another stock. This makes cannon a lot better, in my opinion. I don't know exactly what it will, like, negatively and positively change. Like, which weapons will be more broken. I don't think it's it's right to even judge that yet. I think, theoretically, sh more string-heavy stuff will be better, but we'll see. A lot of people are like, oh, great, so it's broken now, but... You're dead. Oh, now you're dead. It's definitely interesting. Um, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. I'll definitely read them on this video and I'll heart some that I agree with or uh, I think I should share. Comment down below. I don't know. Comment down below. I love you. I don't know. That's what I did in the last one. Should I do I love you again? Because I love you guys. And if you watch until the end, then I especially love you guys even more because it really supports me when you watch a video completely. So, and you hear what I have to say, which is even, I'm even more grateful for, but, uh, yeah, love you guys so much. Comment down below. I love you if you watch until now. And I'll see you guys all in the next video. Should be a video tomorrow. I want to do a modded video. There's like a Black Clover mod I want to do itself. So we'll see. See you guys. Have a good day. Peace.